I'm Rob. And I'm Louie. And this is the Theseus VR Review by Barefoot Gaming. Louie, how would you describe this game? I would describe it as a 90s Tomb Raider with really great modern graphics. Absolutely beautiful. It is, it's very beautiful, and you're standing in the environment to actually experience yeah. what's happening around your character, which is interesting. So you play this game in the third person perspective, but it's weird because you're playing it in third person, but you are standing either directly behind or kind of up and over and looking at your character yeah. from like a isometric third person view. And every time you change rooms, the camera changes, which changes often the direction that you're walking. It can be a little bit disconcerting because uh, left becomes up and up becomes right. And it's a little bit difficult to move around on occasion. Most of the time it's straightforward, but every once in a while, especially while you're climbing on walls, it changes a little bit. And the reason I think they do that is switching you from left to right, right to left, backwards and forwards, is because I think it's designed primarily so that if you were sitting, it's everything will happen in front of you, right? So if a character runs around a corner, well, without you being able to look behind you, yeah. it, otherwise you'd be stuck. So it'll change the camera angle for you. That's the reason. There's uh, a couple really great scenes in this. The, the big evil bad guy, the Minotaur, is huge. I mean, so huge. And imposing. It gives you that feeling yeah. of imposing towards and, you. And, you know, whenever he's around, the, the bass is kind of just rumbling in your ears, and, and you know he's nearby. Also the controls. We need to touch on the controls. Everything is done with a regular PC controller, like a 360 controller, an Xbox One wired controller is what we use. Yep. You use the Y button to light fire yep. on your or stick which you can pick up yeah uh, you use that fire to scare away spiders or yeah. to light them on fire sometimes yeah then you've got a sword your sword is your X button I believe yeah. uh, swinging back and forth a in a fight will get you to dodge to roll yeah B I don't think in a fight it does anything but if you're on a ledge no, it, it, it drops you yeah, down drops you down and if you're looking for a ledge to go up a would be the one that gets yeah. you up and the only thing I'm forgetting is the the trigger the right trigger is the run yeah. and the left button puts your torch out if you want to to try to hide from the Minotaur. But also, X button will allow you to use your sword to pull down switches, which affect the game in different ways. And this I'm going to mention, to make your life a little easier, if you do play this game, X, you press it to put it in, and then you hold X down and use the controller to pull your levers. We were tapping and trying to figure out why it was working sometimes and why it wasn't. X, to go in, use your thumbstick, drag it down, boom, your everything will work just fine. I think we've talked about the mechanics of the game. You're gonna see gameplay over top, which will hopefully give you a better idea as to what exactly this game is about. At $21.99, Louie, how many burning spiders out of five would you give this and why? I would give this two, just because the gameplay was slow, a little bit monotonous, and I'm giving it as much as two just because the scenery was amazing. I struggled with this one because we played this to the end, and I don't do that with every game. So at $21.99, I have to give this a two out of five as well. It has a lot of stuff going well for it. Yep. It looks really, really pretty. Yep. It's different. I love the fact that it's different than anything I've played in VR so far. That third person is kind of neat, but the third person dropping you actually into the environment, into yep. the fights, that's fantastic. Yep. I found the storyline was okay-ish. It's interesting enough, the Minotaur, again, like Louie mentioned, the size and the scale feels fantastic. The spiders running around, the fights are okay, but to the negatives, there are only two bad guys that you'll actually get to fight. Yep. You'll fight spiders and you'll fight the Minotaur. That's it. This is not a maze. You have only one spot that you ever get to go. It looks like it used to be a maze, but everything is kind of all crumbled up. The negative to that is it feels really linear. So it's like, oh, go here. And then if you can't go any further, come back. Yeah. Worse than that is there are spots where you won't know that you can go up. You can't, unlike games like Tomb Raider, you can't just jump up on every single ledge you see. Yeah. You can only jump up on ledges that it will allow you to jump up yes. on. And we ran into a spot right near the beginning of the game where we probably spent 15 minutes going back and forth figuring out why can't we interact with anything. Yep. There's a tiny corner that you kind of have to wedge into. And if you're just in the right spot and you press A, it'll let you jump up. Yep. It's like, oh, yep. that's not cool. Yep. That's th that just makes the game take longer and takes sucks the fun out of it. But like I said, you're only ever going to fight spiders. You're only ever going to fight the Minotaur. And, and I even have to correct you on that. You don't actually fight the Minotaur. That's you, true. You hide from the Minotaur. And there's a game mechanic that you do 
that initiates the damage too. And on top of all of that, there's a couple times where it takes away all your control. Yeah. So you can only walk straight forward. You either have the option of pressing forward or yeah. nothing. Because yeah. it won't let you go sideways. It won't let yeah. you go any other direction. There weren't enough neat things in this yeah. to really grab me. Yeah. If you can get it at a good price, you know, and you want to spend a couple hours, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. But at $21.99, I can't recommend it. I give it a two out of five. Don't forget to subscribe. That's it. We're done the review. See, I didn't wait till the very end. I actually put it in. Leave comments, like. We're done. Thank you so much again for watching another Barefoot Review. We'll talk later. See ya. Bye.